this is how the old flooring looks and i do not like it so we can be switching it up this is how the old flooring looks and it is not my vibe so we're gonna be switching it up with something better and this is how it looks nothing too crazy but this is how it looks so let's switch it up, 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 up. this is how it looks so we're gonna be using this peel and stick it's a peel and stick from amazon i think you'll find it one. you'll find the color you want i got this it has like gray and white in it and i love it i feel like it's gonna go with the wall so let's stop putting it down together and when you pick it up, it has an arrow showing where it is the top, so you have to put it this way. So we're gonna try and put it perfectly how, and you have to be checking the back and see where the arrow showing, so it has to go top. So I'm gonna be putting my first piece, which is the kind piece that we're gonna be like basically cruising. So right here, very tight to the end. This wall is not level, so we're just gonna make it work. I have to do a voiceover for the rest because just my first piece I ruined it so I just have to recut it again but we move I didn't want to keep looking at this floor so we just have to give it a new look but it didn't it didn't disappoint i loved it and this is a diy this is not like a permanent floor and this is just something to throw up so i don't have to see the brown floor because every time i clean up it feels like i'm not clean so i just don't like the brown so i went ahead and cut a new one and it worked but for some reason my camera stopped working I just can't believe I'm using my phone to vlog so I had my phone pinned down there or I don't even know if I hang it up by myself but I just don't know but the camera wasn't recording the rest of the stuff but I got to lay my first piece that I recut again and it works perfect the shower tub is not level so you just gotta make it work and I didn't know what I was doing I do construction, but when it comes to this peel and stick, if it's not just ripping to the bone, it's just like, I just not. This is like a permanent, uh, temporary stuff, so I just wasn't worried about what to do, and it was cheap. It was something better, so just got to throw it together, and I just decided to do this by myself, and I did it. I think I touched the camera to re-record again. I then I turned around. I, I did almost, almost the bathroom, and I did record it. And this is the progress. And, and it, it took me literally three hours to figure out without it. <laughs> <laughs> tape measure this was crazy i didn't have a tape measure so i just have to go with it i did all the full pieces and i had the half pieces to fit in so i just needed to clean up a little bit then i can do around the toilet bowl and just finish it up it is finished but i didn't get a chance to take a last minute i love it photo i don't know not photo video like to show but I have a little bit of like videos like this that I show. It looks nice. I was yeah, live when I was doing it. And I didn't even remember that I had this. I was going through my editing videos and I saw this. So I decided to post this. So I just decided to just clean up and then finish up with the pieces that I left to go right up against the wall. So that's what I did. I started this flooring. And this flooring is going to come out once we decide what we want to do in the bathroom. But... We haven't decided yet, so this is just a uh, temporary stuff for us to figure out what we want because I did not like this. I got the whole case for like $11 and I bought three of them and I only used two. So that was a very good thing and each one has at least like 20 pieces in there. So I wasn't expecting to use a bunch, but I use it so. And here I'm using my paint mixture to just do it and a level to make sure it's level because i didn't know why my husband put my tape measure i have my own tape measure for work i do construction and he was working in manhattan and i wasn't about to bother him and ask him where he put stuff but i made sure i use something on the bottom so i do not cut the one that i'm cutting on the top and at this point it was looking nice and i was very happy and it was coming together so <laughs> it's a progress right there and I was live hanging out with you guys, so it was like, okay, having fun, was doing stuff. But 
this is the transformation that I was looking for because that brown, I wasn't happy about it. Like, I personally bleached the floor thinking when we moved in, I thought it was like a whitish grout and the people living here didn't clean it up and it turned brown. So I bleached it, but our, your girl was wrong. It was brown. They used tain because they don't want people to ruin it. And remember, this was a rental apartment before we moved in, so... Mm -mm. He guessed it right. So, it is not what I wanted, but a little bit at a time, we're going to figure out what we want to do. So, I just did everything without a tape measure, and your girl is crazy. Yes, I'm crazy. It was the easiest floor to lay because it's just peel and stick. You were about to mix up mortar or anything, and I did not grout it, but... I made sure it was very tight and there were not much seams. So, this is how it looks with my technical and my <laughs> artwork DIY project. This is how it looks. This is your chance that if you don't like your bathroom floor, just do something uh, temporary. Then you can figure out next because this was like a vision for me to see how it really looks if we had to go with something real. So... Sometimes your vision is not clear after you lay it on the table. So I have my vision laid on the table and I hope <laughs> this is nice. I love it. You know, you won't even tell. If you're walking on it, you can't even tell that it's a peel and stick. I've seen a lot of people doing peel and stick and just grouting it after. But I wasn't about to grout it and rip it up probably three, four months later. So this is what we're going with. And I was very happy when I was done. With all the pieces that I kind of fixed together. And it was nice. And I had to go right next to the shower. You have to make sure it's very tight. Tight, 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 tight. I'll let you guys keep telling me that. It looks nice. And you like my curtains. Thank you so much. And this is how the finished look looks. I guess. I was in my pajamas all day. Didn't eat nothing. Bust for my ass. So. This is... Two blocks later, we have a nice bathroom floor that looks presentable and appealing. I hate the brown color. If it was up to me, the whole house would be white. But the gray walls are okay. I'm thinking about painting the bathroom so you guys give me a painting idea or painting color idea. I was thinking about cha uh, charity gray or was it charity white? I can't remember. And chantilly lace so you guys give me an idea love you all <laughs>